coming. <laughs> We're out in the wander again. Ah, uh, this time we're well, the other side of Strinra to the west of Strinra. We're going to go and have a wee walk, a beach walk this time. Um, we'll park at the old uh, flying boat airfield, uh, RAF uh, Wick. And uh, we could actually walk right around the airfield, but that would be you know, two legs of the walk would be on the road. And I don't think Morag would like being on the road. We should have to be on the leash. So, this one will be basically a beach walk. And we'll just uh, have an easy day. And uh, then we'll come back uh, to the... The garden centre. It's all And we'll get a coffee there. Uh, oh, they do a uh, bacon and Stilton toasties. <laughs> right, I'm looking forward to this walk. <laughs> this is. Uh, aye, we're getting near to the airfield now. Well, they call it an airfield. <laughs> It's all black. If you see an aerial shot, it's all mapped out for uh, wee different bits for parking uh, flying boats in. They could take over 50. Anyway, yeah, this was like a car park. There we go. Looks nice. Okay, you ready for it, Morag? Let's get going. This is the car park. That was the flying boat station during both wars. It is now a place you can park your motorhomes, uh, a stop motorhome stopover, and you're right on the bay. Oh, I've had a wee read it there. Always read the signs, the safety stuff, but it doesn't affect us. And of course, you've got an advert for the fed up calf. So you can get a three meal in Stranraer. Okay, Morag. You ready? Okay, on you go. <laughs> She's loose. <laughs> At least we've got a nice path for the first bit of the walk. On the way back, we'll go down on the beach. Oh, here we've got a wee Jack Russell coming in to say hello. <laughs> Hi. It's a very popular walk this, but uh, if you're out for a stroll, does that really matter? The history of this base, I read a wee bit. It was first of all a seaplane base in the First World War. Uh, when the Navy was uh, starting to get into flying. But in the Second World War, you had all sorts of things here. You had a, a flying boat, a twin engine thing called a Strenra. Uh You had the Catalina, that's the American thing. And of course, you had the big Sunderland. Uh, some of the stuff I read on that, you, you could drive a double-decker bus under the wings. I didn't realise it was that big. It was massive. Anyway, there was uh, 
I don't know how many there was, but the aerial shot shows you that there was enough parking base for over 50 aircraft. So it must have been quite busy. I think it patrolled uh, the, the whole of the Atlantic and uh, up north as far as it could go. But, like everything else, they're all just used now. And it's a place for sheep and caravanners. <laughs> but this wee bit here, it's a lovely wee walk. Okay, Morag, on you go. Oh, here we're at the first corner. <laughs> well, I suppose this should give you a laugh, but uh, it's probably quite serious. This is a historic building, not a toilet. <laughs> You want to look inside? Morag, come on! Morag! There you go, it's been a gun emplacement. A lookout post. Morag, where are you? There you are. <laughs> oh. Now, you got a few of these spot about the place. We'll have a look at this one over here. Oh, aye. Eh? We'll have a look through them, see if they work. Now, there's a few of these dotted about. They've obviously been made for sitting in because they're looking out onto the bay and that high bit stops the wind coming in that's where the wind normally comes so let's have a look through these yeah you can see the birds away in the foreshore also there's uh, the P&O and the Stinner line They're heading over to Ireland I think one goes into Belfast and another one goes into... I can't remember the name of the place and I've been there <laughs> Okay Let's get further along Morag, come on Oh, the second bit of the walk is a wee bit different but the path has got strengtheners underneath so it's easy walking uh, I remembered where the boat's gone Larn, early one goes into Belfast docks and the other one goes into Larn <laughs> don't know which <laughs> I don't think more I cares either. Oh, this is a nice touch. Oh, I think we'll just sit down for a couple of minutes. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, taking the scenery. No bad. Also, this walk's all in the flat. Have the daft half hour. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, cool down, cool down, that's it. <laughs> Come on. I don't know how I'm going to stop her. Ah, oh, she'll stop herself, hopefully. 
we won't be going much further. In fact, this is, I think it's called the Carswell Burn. It goes up to the local village up there. Now, the path will be turning to its left. But after about three or four hundred yards, you're back on the road. So, more like me won't be going there. Our signpost, we'll go and check the signpost, and that's as far as we're going. As you see, more eggs found somebody to play with. Right, the signpost. Uh, right, we'll just turn round. And that's the road up to Castle. Up to Kirkholm. Right, Morag, come on. Right, we'll do a bit of time on the beach. Come on, a bit different. As you can see, this is quite a popular walk. Bear in mind, it's a Sunday morning. You know, prime dog walking time. Uh, and these signposts, uh, I know where they're going. Uh, so there could be a couple of other walks in this area. I'm knackered. <laughs> and more eggs enjoying ourselves just wandering about. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to stop somewhere. That's Luna going away. Oi, people. Oh, I'll find a seat along here for a wee while. <laughs> and through talking to that lady, I found out about uh, another couple of walks. So, that's handy. <laughs> but you can see, you can get right down to the water's edge here. Beautiful. This is us coming back to that first corner. Oh. And I am heading straight for somewhere to sit down. Ah, uh, that old military building's got seats in it and they look modern. But this sort of round thing here, it's nearest, or is it? <laughs> Got to sit somewhere. Aye, that'll do. Morag, come on. Oh, there's a seat there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you tired, Morag? I'm tired. <laughs> Some walk, but it's on the flat, that's the main thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting here, just looking out over the bay. Ah, there's uh, oysters in that bay. you got oyster fishermen going out there. I've actually been told where I can find them at low tide, but I've been sworn to secrecy. I've always threatened to come down one day at low tide and help myself with some of the oysters <laughs> but there's plenty of other shellfish there 
and I love shellfish. I think you know that. <laughs> anyway, a wee rest, then we'll be on our way. <sighs> right, that's just on the way back on the last leg, back on that good bit of the road. It's been great for Morag because she's been off all the time. One thing I've noticed, this fence here, that's electrified. So if you are coming along here, uh, you know, be careful. Oh, it's going to be a nice easy walk back along unless I spot anything. And I'll do a sum up when I get back to the car because I can really need my coffee. I really need to get it all burned. Back at the car park. <coughs> that was a good old walk. Ah. Ah. More eggs back in the lead just to keep everybody happy. She's been off the lead the whole time. Very friendly, getting on with everybody. And of all the dogs. Oh, sis. Oh, a letter man. Oh well. Right. Now, what now? As you saw, that was a easy walk. Been on the flat. It's up to yourself what you put into it. Like, I was very slow going round. Uh, and I could have went further. I could have came back down there. But I wanted to keep off the road. Anyway. What now? I found a couple of other walks through talking to that lady with Luna. Uh, and we'll do them one other weekend. Oh, oh. oh knackered. Ah. So today, on the, that's a good walk, but just down the road there, there's a Solburn Garden Centre, and it's got a cafe, a very good cafe. So you know where I'm going for my dong, my coffee. Uh, relax and get back to normal. And more again, me, I'll see you on the next hour. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> see you, cheerio. <laughs> cheerio. <laughs>